So I fi I'm fixing the um, chi-square example on this video. So I have some values and I, I have some data on uh, the number of times that you check your phone in an hour. And I'm going to see whether that's independent of whether you're a human or a chimp. So I collected some data. I went to the South Bend Zoo and I gave them cell phones. And then I just watched my students in class. So I have this, this is my observed table. These are the tally marks you get from your data. So you need to tally that up yourself. You include your raw data, but then tally that up. So I'm just gonna do a few things here. I'm gonna clean, um, clean this thing up a little bit. And so everything's centered. And then if you want to put a box around this, uh, you can format the cell. So that you have a value here. Okay, so I need the row totals and the column totals. And so I'm gonna hit equals sum. Anytime you do a formula, you hit equals. And in this case, it's B5 to B6. And then I'm gonna drag that across. And then I need the row totals, whoops. Or you can just type those numbers in, it's not very many. I'm gonna equal sum equals B5 to D5. And that's gonna add across. And then this total should be the overall total which is sum of E5 to E6. And, whoa, and you double check to make sure, if you want, you can double check to see if the sum is the same for B7 to E7. It should be the same, yep, okay. <clears throat> Those are my observed values. That comes from the data. I need to do a um, expected values table. And I, you can get this from your calculator, but you're going to need to explain in your paper where it comes from. Um, so each number here. So the first expected value comes from the row total. So I hit equals for my formula times the column total. I guess that's the row divided by the overall total. Here, row total <clears throat> times column total. And you can enter the number if you want to. I'm just typing the number here. So 39 times 35 divided by 112 equals 28. times 73 divided by 112. And you can do this as a formula. So that if you change the numbers up there, they change down here. That's, that's why you would use a formula. Row time. Um, equals row times um, let's type so I'm going to edit that parentheses around it okay so <clears throat> those are my expected values those are also in the matrix on your um, calculator. So now <clears throat> what you need to do is set up a table with expected and, ob and observed. So I'm going to make some columns here to show that. You see them over there on the right. And you see some commonalities that 
values are going to repeat. So I type in my values 15, 18, 40, 20, 10, 9. Those are what I saw and what I should have seen based on probability. Make sure that they line up with the values that, so you go in the same order, whichever order you pick. And so values that are close to what they should have been, they're gonna have a smaller difference. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna just do a little bit here, clean this table up. I like to have everything centered. It looks nicer, easier to follow. Okay, so the first column is expected or observed minus expected. So I'm gonna type in equals. I'm gonna take click this minus this. And I know it's gonna be negative 7.8. But if I put a formula in, instead of just subtracting those, I can drag this down and the formula does it for the work for me. Next column. I need to square that value, so I'm going to click on it and raise it to the second. Drag it. And the last column is to take that squared column and divide it by the expected. And that's your real chi-squared number. So the bigger the difference between the two, the bigger your chi-squared number will be. And then your total chi-squared is the sum of these numbers. So F17, F22. So that would be my chi-squared value. It should be really close to that that's on my calculator. And so this allows, by do, setting it up like this, um, you can show where each of those things come. Somewhere in your paper, you need to show how you get one of these. So um, I would make sure that I um, show that I took the row total times the column total divided by the overall total. And if you do more than one chi squared, you don't have to redo this whole process. So the only other thing I would say that's left to do is just to add in some format. Um, you can always right click to figure that stuff out. So you, so you can follow this and then you can snip this and paste it into your document, but include some, you know, and paste, snip this, talk about it, snip this, explain how you got those values. Um, and then don't forget that chi squared has these steps. So make sure you include those steps in your table. So, you know, or in your paper. So your null hypothesis would be that whether or not you're a chimp, or a human is related to how many times you check your phone. Um, by the way, this this if you do this uh, calculation, we would definitely reject the null hypothesis, which would mean that we would accept that being a chimp or human is not independent of how many times you check your phone. Let that be a message to you kids.